Hello and welcome back to the Brave Souls. This is a piece of part 3 of the pyro fishing and how to make and activate the totem pole that will give you extra benefits for fishing. And how do you have to make it? What you need is an anvil, a green glazed terracotta, an observer, an orange glazed terracotta, another observer, a daylight sensor, that's up here, and this are uh, spruce stairs. So it needs to be exactly like this. It needs to be built like this. The anvil stands like this. It's not sideways, but like this. And then the observers need with the eyes of the observer this way. You can see here's the back of the observer. And now the totem pole is completely built like it's supposed to. If you want a reference to it, you can go to fish, by example, uh, this fish system, and then you go to totem. Um, I did fish deliveries, but you can also do fish menu, menu. And then you can see here as well how you need to build it. The spruce logs are a little bit weird, how they look in the picture. But if you see here the example, you see how they need to be placed. Then you need some materials to activate it. You need 16 crab claw, 16 crab scale, and six, it doesn't matter which ones, but six platinum fish, 16 dolphin tails, and 16 squid tentacles. It's pretty expensive to build it, especially in the beginning. And when you're done with building it, you can uh, just activate it by pressing your fishing rod towards the observer and then press your fishing rod itself. And then you can see it will activate. And then you can see it will activate. And there's a lot of options that you can use with this totem. So you can see the, the items are withdrawn from my inventory. And there's a lot of things you can do with this totem. It will cost you a lot of money to upgrade this, uh, yeah, money, uh, entropy money. Uh, so you need to do a lot of fishing to upgrade it. Uh, the radius of the totem can be upgraded. So it will have a bigger radius in where you can fish. Um, the active time of the, uh, the totem can be upgraded with 90,000 entropy and it can upgrade uh, uh, max level of 20. So you can see you need a lot of entropy to upgrade this. There's a lot of options in the totem. You need to make your decisions in where you want to put your first entropy or what abilities you want to start using. Um, it's a little bit figuring out where you want to put it and what you want to upgrade first. Uh, but you can see there's a cost to it, uh, like this one. It's a, uh, you need one mythical fish and five platinum fish. It will increase your slots, the number of passive slots you can have. So it's, uh, it's a lot of uh, fishing and grinding for it, but it can give you a lot of uh, extra benefits. Uh, by example, this one, it's an entropy hoarder, passive ability. This passive will give you more entropy from catching fish inside of the radius of the totem. So the totem has a radius and when you stand inside it and you're fishing, you will receive more once you have upgraded this. Uh, random drops, by example, uh, this passive will give you a chance when killing crabs in the radius to uh, get a squid or dolphin or other fishing loot. So it has a lot of extra benefits of this totem. You can find the more information of the totem itself um, uh, here. And uh, the cooldown of the totem, you can see your totem is on cooldown for 58 minutes and eight seconds and then you have to wait or you have to upgrade it. I hope this will help you explain a little bit of how the totem itself works and what you can do with the totem to upgrade it. Um, I will go more in depth in probably video four. Thank you again for watching and I will see you next time.